what is SBTV <coughs> and how has it grown to a company worth eight million in what just a, a couple of years? Um, how it first started. It's I was nice filming, to see you, by the way. Thank you. Thanks nice for coming well. in. <laughs> nice to see you as well. Um, it started off kind of filming my mates on my estate, and I wanted to kind of put them on a platform to put out to the masses because I don't think the mainstream media was kind of focused on them a lot. And over the years, I've kind of expanded from grime and rap. I still do the grime and rap freestyles on the street, but um, I. I I've broadened out to do more acoustic stuff and trying to expand it as, as far as possible. Okay. So, so go, take the story right back for yeah. us. So you sit in front of us today mm -hmm. with a big company of your own. It's doing fantastically well. And you're friends with Dr. Dre and Rita Friends Aura. with Dr. Dre. <laughs> but take us back to, I don't know, when you were 14 or 15 mm. and you're at school. Mm. What's happening then? Um, I was an MC, um, Smokey Bars. Uh, I did football. I did like loads of things which were everyone was doing them. And I wanted to kind of do something that was a bit different. Mm. And I got a camera for Christmas and I started filming and no one else was really filming. There was other things, but my mum didn't allow me to go buy practice hours and Risky Rose and all those DVDs from Wembley Market, so I wanted to film it myself and put it online. What was going on at school, I mean, in terms of uh, lessons and uh, learning or whatever? Um, school, there was a few lessons. I like ICT, um, creative, I like the music lessons, but other than that, I was more of a creative person, so I was always kind of filming to basically broadcast what I want to do. You got a clutch of GCSEs mm -hmm. um, and then you decided to go and study, mm -hmm. do a course in I media. Did, uh, yeah, national, uh, I did a national diploma in media, moving image. So you, so you were taking what you were doing seriously. This wasn't just somebody going out with a camera and, mm. uh, and doing it without knowing what you were doing. You were studying it with an idea to sort of going into something like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't really think it would like be what it is now, like sitting on BBC Breakfast with yourself. Uh, it's like, I don't really think it, it was just a build. dream back then, wasn't Yeah, it, it was kind of like a passion. <laughs> I had a passion. I really like filming people and kind of letting them voice their opinions on my platform. And the thing so. is, Jamal, what I can imagine that there's quite a lot of young people who think, well, I do that. I've got my mobile phone and I can film my friends rapping. Mm. You get a lot of clips like that on YouTube. Mm. What was it that you did which turned it into a successful business rather than just someone messing about with a load of friends and a camera phone? I guess I was consistent with it and I, I had a niche. So I'm not going to lie, there's probably a thousand other people that are filming as well, but I did it in a different way and I was consistent with it. And it was like kind of more original and I never tried to get complacent. I could have got complacent at 100 million views and said, all right, I've made it, I'm going to sit back now. Or kind of thing where I was only filming people in West London, but then I started branching out and going all over the country and stuff like that kind of keeps me on top of the game. And what are you doing now is you're sort of trying to give people some guidance because there's an yeah. awful lot of people who are a bit like you at school it, you know, not doing that great, maybe mm. academically in that mm. sense, and maybe thinking, I don't know what I'm going to do, or you know, it's all looking a bit gloomy. Yeah. What? And you're trying to give them a little guidance now. Yeah. The kind of book, the whole ebook thing was kind of. Loads of people said they wanted me to write a book, and um, see, that's another thing which is different. I never thought I'd write a book, and basically, it's kind of an interactive business challenge, peppered with my own life story, my successes, my mistakes, and I just trying to give back and hopefully inspire a lot of people and don't let them think that just because obviously work hard to get your GCSEs if you can but it's not the end of the world mm -hmm. if you don't get what you required.